Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is a main bathroom update. Yes, you may have noticed I've been doing a lot of updates recently. And so in line with all of those, here is my main bathroom one. Like the other rooms that I already made over and then I've kind of gone in and refreshed them. The main bathroom, there wasn't anything wrong with it. And I did quite like what I did with it the first time round, but the main sticking point for me was there were lots of elements that looked a little bit boho still, which is not something that I want to partake in anymore. <laughs> um, but also I decided to go for a completely different color that I wouldn't usually choose. And so I went with the lovely plaster pink color which I think is called Factor 50 from Coke. And I just did it on the warm wall because, you know, I just wanted to keep it to that as it felt a bit risky doing pink in the first place. And it just never quite sat right with me. And I think it would have worked if I'd styled the rest of the room differently. If I'd styled it more kind of classic and in keeping with what I've done in the rest of the house. But as it was, I just didn't feel like it worked. And I kind of had it in my head all of a sudden that I really wanted to go for a darker color in that room and create a moody bathroom. Like that was a whole vibe that I was really, really going for. But yeah, those were like the main things that I wanted to change alongside the floor, which again, I didn't love. I don't think I ever really loved it. I think Terrazzo, was like a whole kind of trend thing. And even when I ordered it, which was like before we even moved in, I just, I didn't know how I felt about it. I was like, okay, I think that's like the best one that's available if I want something different to the, the lovely blue one that's downstairs. But this was the room that it was particularly bad on top of the lino. So it's kind of been okay in the downstairs bathroom. But in the upstairs bathroom, guys, like it, it just wouldn't stick properly. And it was always peeling up at the edges and like catching. I think because it's a very moisture ridden room, <laughs> you know, like baths in there just always steam everything up, even, you know, when, when we've got the window open and then there are kids bathing and there's water going over the side. I think realistically the lino underneath was not in a good way even to begin with. So putting stuff over the top wasn't helping. So I had to rethink that. Just to give you an idea of where it started, I'll show you the original room when we moved in and then what I did last time and we can lead on into what I have done this time and I really hope you like it. Okay guys, I'm in my painting place and I'm in the main bathroom. So I guess I'm gonna be doing some repainting in the main bathroom. And yes, I am fully aware that it was not that long ago that I last painted in here. I do think it's a really pretty color, but I kind of want to go a bit darker, quite a lot darker, and more moody. This room still feels a little bit too bright and fresh which for some people would be great, but just, yeah, that isn't kind of what I'm after in here. So I am not just gonna paint the wall with the window, which I did last time. I'm also gonna paint the rest of the walls up into the tiles. And I'm also gonna paint the ceiling 
um, because I did that in the ensuite and I think it worked really well. Also in a bathroom like this, which has so much white tiling, which is obviously not my choice, but that is what we're rolling with because we're renting. I think, yeah, painting every other area that is white that I can will hopefully make it feel a bit more kind of like enclosed and atmospheric and just make a bit more of a statement. Yeah, just trying to clear everything out, give it a bit of a clean, and then I can start taping it off, which actually shouldn't be as big of an effort because I'm painting the ceiling as well. So here is the color, which right now to me on screen kind of looks black, but it's definitely not. It is the Tobacconist, that's a bit better, you can see. And it's another coat color, because I really love their paint, such good quality, and I really appreciate the bathroom paint that I've used in this bathroom, it's the first time round. So this color was also coat but also in the ensuite bathroom and their kind of mid-sheen paint that they suggest for bathrooms just goes on really well and it still looks pretty matte and yet it's yeah it's got a soft sheen so it is also very wipeable and easy to clean so I went for this because I actually had this for another area in our house and I decided against it for that, but I kept the sample and then I was like, hold on a second. What about this in the main bathroom? So I've already started taking some stuff down. I need to work out how to untie this. And um, actually since the makeover the first time round, um, I actually swapped out the mirrors. So this was like a, hello, this was like an, a vintage mirror that I found for five pounds that's right yeah five pounds and then i just kind of like made it ooh, and then i just kind of made it look more aged can you see like it's kind of like dark brown and then with bits of brassy rub and buff coming through it's very hard to see but anyway i thought that kind of went more with the vibe that i was after taking the curtains down probably need to take these down and the like hooks and things. Oh yeah, and I'm also gonna paint the radiator in here cause I did that in the other bathroom too. And yeah, I'm like, why not? Because I can just paint it back. Well, not, not paint it back. Cause clearly I, I mean, maybe I could, I don't know. Um, but no, I'm just like anticipating I will paint it white when we leave. And then it's, you know, it's not a chrome, but it's not offensive. It's still like completely neutral and clinical, clinical as the bathrooms were when we arrived. Um, but yeah, it just makes such a difference in the other room having that. So that's my plan. Right, I'm just cutting in with the paint color. Um, just going around all the bits which always takes much longer than I expect. And last night I primed the towel radiator thing, which also took much longer than I remember. Um, and I also primed these hooks, which I've now painted over. But yeah, one problem is that I don't have a large tray for my large roller. <laughs> so I need to sort that out, otherwise, Painting it all with my small roller is gonna be a long process. Well, howdy, I have done it. I have painted the bathroom and I'm just looking, sorry. I always start filming when I'm out of breath and I've like just run up a load of stairs or whatever. Whew. Anyway, um, I've just, I'm like trying to see in the light. I think there's like a patch on like the wall nearest the window that maybe I could just go over with a roller again. Um, and there's maybe like a few little bits on the radiator 
that could do with like a touch more but I think it's pretty it's pretty much done and I love it I love it I love it it's just it's just so nice um someone on my Instagram said that they was giving them like gentlemen's whiskey club vibes and I was trying to like be able to articulate the kind of yeah that that's what I was trying to articulate and she did it for me and I was like I am okay with that <laughs> I will show you hold on so here it is in all honesty I actually finished uh last weekend and it's because it's just been sat like this because I've been doing other jobs and stuff but I I couldn't resist putting the mirror back up um and putting it back up has helped me realize that it's too dark against the dark not that it's awful but I think I might like go over it with a a dry brush and some rub and buff just to add some like little brassy elements and then also I, I couldn't help but just style out this corner and um, which is pretty similar to how it was before I've just changed up um a couple of things and yeah it's all painted all on the ceiling and it looks so much nicer like that honestly just so so much nicer um that is a child calling for me i better go this really ugly shaving plug thing which <laughs> kind of ruins the vibe and I've had stuff in front of it up until now and I will still put this in front of it but you can still kind of see it a little bit through so I thought I'd use my peel and stick sample from coat of the paint color because it is exactly the same and like cut it to fit not like that, but just over it to go behind there so that it's not obvious in any way. So I'm gonna like cut to the right size and stick it on basically. And ta-da. Okay guys, so I've got this really lovely vintage lamp to hang from the ceiling. Obviously we don't have a pendant light in here, it's just spotlights, so I'm not wiring it in. I'm using one of my magic battery operated light bulbs but having got it out I realised that this doesn't fit in the bit probably because it's really old so I've very crudely created this with cardboard and my glue gun to create something for it to sit in so that it doesn't like fall out so there you go I'm gonna put it up with the glass dome thing and hopefully it works. Lol, it's up, it looks lovely, and it works with my magic remote control, and it'd be really nice to have light in here that's not spotlights, but you can see, <laughs> you can see the cardboard from down below. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is get another bit of card and actually paint it brass and then wrap it around just to conceal that and make it look like it's meant to be, like it's part of it. <laughs> and then I'll just attach it to the ceiling with um, this like brass hook to match. So yeah, yeah, I need to sort out that cardboard because right now it looks a bit like a loo roll stuck on it. <laughs> I already had this bath tray and it was a really yellowy wood so I didn't really like that so I've sanded it down and then I basically used my little technique of mixing up the colour I wanted with acrylic paint, watering it down and then putting it on and then I sealed it all with my clear matte sealer and I think it's worked out really well like it's exactly what I wanted and it is waterproof which is great. 
So very happy with that. Wish I'd done it the first time around. So like the ensuite bathroom, I have decided to paint over this random gray strip that I've always disliked. But I thought I could learn to live with it if I did the other stuff in the bathroom, but it turns out that I can't. <laughs> Um, so I'm using the Rust-Oleum bathroom tile paint in chalk white with a satin finish because it looked like that was going to be the closest to the colour and the kind of finish. It's hard to know because this is a very textured tile and there's like light shining off it in all different directions. But um, yeah, I'm going to try this. I've got to... Uh, activate it i don't really know what that means but um yeah we'll find out and hopefully it's gonna look better i am fully prepared that it's not gonna look exactly the same color as the other tiles but i am accepting that that will be better than the gray stripe and i haven't asked permission from my landlord but i feel like he's not gonna miss a gray stripe i don't know maybe he will but that's how these bathrooms were built originally it's not a design decision that he's made and yeah this is my viewing while I try and do this um but this is the floor the peel and stick tiles that just never really worked these uh, just uh, are the bane of my life um I tried already once sticking them down but literally they're just so lifted up around here there's like a gap here where it sort of managed to separate i don't really understand how and then over there you can see it lifting up i mean over here it's kind of the best which i think is because that's where the lino was flattest underneath but i'm going to take these off and actually it doesn't matter about the state of the lino anyway and like cleaning the adhesive stuff off from the peel and stick tile because I'm going to put new lino down and I'm not telling my landlord <laughs> because I don't know I have a feeling he might be like worrying that I'm not going to do it right it'd be hard to do it as badly as the lino is underneath here but um I just figure yeah why not why would you not want some new fresh lino anyway it's sat right here and it's this kind of very classic, um, I don't really know what you call it, but it's got like these diamonds on. It's sort of like a marble look to it, which I think is going to make a big difference. It's like a very large pattern version of what's in our ensuite, really. So I'm going to see how easy it is to take this stuff up. And I need to get some of the, well, yeah, here. I'm a bit worried here because, so this is like my proudest DIY moment. Um, and it is removable as well, because it's all on vinyl. This side of the bar thing. But um, we did seal it. Oh, gosh, look how <laughs> dusty and dirty that is. We did seal it all the way along and it's sealed really well. And I, I just don't really want to mess with this. But um, these underlap, underlap? <laughs> they go underneath a bit. So I need to be able to get this out and also the lino out. But I just really don't want to ruin this thing because it's like really sturdy. It's really waterproof and watertight. And yeah, don't really want to mess with a good thing. But if I'm going to get this situation <laughs> sorted, then I have to do that. actually disgusting like I feel gross I've had to like scrub 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 all of my like hands and arms and feet from where I got that stickiness from the peel and stick tiles on me and particularly well I mean only really around the toilet it just smelled like wee <laughs> it smelled like when you clean out a hamster cage 
which is a fond memory from my childhood. Um, and yeah, underneath that line eight, it was just not pleasant. So I'm really glad to be taking that out. And this is what we're left with. And I need to do a bit of cleaning because like, what the heck are these? Yuck. Um, and like where the tiles, so like where the water comes over the bath um, and the tiles, the peel and stick tiles that were on top, like didn't join. Like obviously water had like gone underneath there. So it was very wet in this corner, which <laughs> I'm glad I addressed the whole floor because that wouldn't have been good over time. Yeah, and then I need to like trim off some of these bits of lino, but this is the only bit that was a bit damaged from the side of the bath. And that's where I joined to um, these like faux wood planks. I didn't have one to stretch the whole width of the bath, so I joined it here and like filled it and then painted over it. Anyway, this bottom bit just split a little bit, which is easily fixable. I still have this paint color, still have the wood filler, still have the top coat that makes it waterproof. So, and then hopefully when I seal it, um, then that will just keep it in place. To make sure the lino fit, I made this template out of paper with a bit of kind of measuring and drawing around the toilet bowl. And then I basically pulled it out to where it would be on the lino with the lino all kind of in place aside from being able to go back enough. Then I traced around this stencil to get where I needed to cut. And then I just used a scalpel craft knife thing just to cut it all out. Took a little bit of going over because it's thick stuff, but it seemed to do the job. And then I could just peel it out. And then I did the same with the little bit that was sticking out in the corner. I just measured that, drew onto it, and then I cut that bit out as well. And this meant that I could then push it back into place, which was actually quite hard. I had to not be standing on it at the same time and push it right towards the wall, but I did it did it and it all fit like a puzzle piece so great stuff then i use this uh adhesive which is specifically for this you have to wait a bit once you've sprayed it on so that it's a nice level of sticky <laughs> and then you just smooth it all down with your hands this was really very easy to do and it was easy to get it flat so then I sorted out the bath panel with my wood filler, just put it on, left it to dry, sanded it down, repainted over the top and sealed it. And then it was time to add some final decorative elements to the bathroom to make it all pretty. I added this wall shelf, which is actually functional too, store stuff in it, but I think it looks nice. And then reframed some of the art with something that would match the wall color a bit better.
there you go. What do you think? I think the things that made the most difference were the floor. It looks so much fresher and just clean. And the other thing that made the biggest difference was the paint. I'm constantly amazed at how much of a difference paint can make. The fact that I was painting the ceiling as well, I think just like tied the whole room together rather than the kind of basin and toilet space feeling really disconnected from the bath space and then the fact that i was able to kind of style it up with lots of lovely vintage details but also keeping the things that did work because i'm not just gonna scrap everything i did every time i want to do an update the things that i knew that worked was the side of the bath which is still one of my favorite rent friendly diys i've ever done and that panel has held up really well despite it being a very moisture ridden room so i kept that and then obviously the matching under sink cupboard and both are in like that mushroomy color which just goes with everything so it's fine and then also the window treatments i still like the sort of drapey side curtain that softens the window but also the vinyl around the window frame has held up really well and weirdly the electrical tape <laughs> on the bathroom windows seems to have done a great job and even despite moisture hasn't like warped or cut, like peeled away or anything so who knows why it didn't work in the living room but anyway so those were the elements i was like yeah i definitely want to keep them because they work it just feels so much cozier and it's a much nicer place to relax in in my bath with my candles so yeah what do you think are you tempted to go dark i think if you're gonna go moody do it in a bathroom or at least as like the starting point because it's sort of smaller space it feels a little bit lower risk yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that are you more of a light and bright person or do you want to embrace the dark side <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video i would love it if you gave it a thumbs up say hello in the comments and if you enjoy these sorts of things and you're liking my channel it would be great if you could subscribe please i have acquired quite a lot of new followers from my doll's house makeover video so hello to anybody who joined me through that it's lovely to have you here and do subscribe if you like makeovers miniature or life size <laughs> and if you'd like to have a little bit more insight into behind the scenes of any of these projects or just general life then do follow me on instagram i am the lovely draw in every place and i will see you next time for another video i'm not going to say what it is <laughs> because i'm not a hundred percent sure and actually the room isn't finished yet that i'm thinking of so We'll see. See you next time.